This video is about moderation and testing interaction in Amos. So um, for, in, for moderation, there are two types. Number one, and when the moderator is a continuous variable. Number two, when moderator is a categorical variable, like for example, gender or ethnicity. So uh, in this video, the focus will be on um, continuous variables, when the moderator is a continuous variable. And I named it as named it as interaction. So this is the way you show your model in your, let's say, uh, research model usually. So um, there we have a moderator here, trust. Trust impacts the relationship between output quality and intention, and trust impacts the relationship between job relevance and intention. So um, there are two interaction effects that we want to test. But how we test, we develop a model like this, so it's, as you can see, the two independent variables are there, the moderate, the dependent variable is there, then the moderator will be like uh, another independent variable, so it will be another uh, exogenous variable, and then the interaction terms. So trust was the moderator, this means trust multiplied by output quality, and trust multiplied by job relevance will be the other two exogenous variables, two independent variables in the model. So interaction or moderation um, for continuous variables is like a multiple regression analysis um, so that all independent variables, the moderator, and the interaction terms uh, play the exogenous roles, play, play the independent variable roles, and the dependent variable is there. So the two hypotheses are trust moderates the relationship between output quality and intention, and H2 is trust moderates the relationship between job relevance and intention. And usually we, um, when you um, develop the hypothesis, you state whether you expect the relationship should be stronger or weaker. So for example, you may write based on the literature that you have, you may have a one-tailed hypothesis. Here is a two-tailed hypothesis. We just say trust impacts the relationship, but you may have a two, um, you may have a one-tailed hypothesis, means you may and take a direction, take a side. So you would, we would state that um, trust moderates the relationship between output quality and intention so that, let's say, um, trust uh, strengthens the relationship between these two variables, or uh, maybe it makes it weaker. So you may state this as well. But okay, here the focus is on testing the, real, the moderating impact. So, um, yeah. So this is the... Um, these are, this is the uh, model. I use the same variables that we already used in the CFA and we uh, assess the model with everything and then we impute it. Now we have the three main uh, variables in the model. Trust uh, is the moderator and the two, okay, I can delete this for now. And the two um, output quality and job relevance are the two uh, in the independent variables and intention is the dependent variable. So um, as you can see, trust is the moderator, but I don't draw a path from here to these effects. I, um, it, uh, I treat it like an, another exigence or another independent variable. But we need to add the two interaction terms as well. You see the two interaction terms. So what you need to do is you need to compute the interactions. How I compute? Clicks, um, You need to, hold on. <laughs> okay, so what you need to do is you need to open the original data file. So the data file we are using now is workshop clean data underline C. Why underline C? Because we imputed the uh, latent variable scores. So you already have seen this in previous videos. So this is the data file we have. Now, what I need to do is to compute the interaction. To compute the interaction first, Descript first we need to standardize the values. So go to analyze, descriptive statistics, descriptives, click. Then what are the variables we want to compute their interactions? Trust, output quality, and job relevance. These are the three variables. And we move them to the right box and here select the standardized values and hit OK. Now the software computed the standardized values of these three variables. So we have three new columns here. Now I save as this as the interaction. I just add interaction. You can save it as well, but I prefer to save as 
So save. Now, let's compute the interactions. We already have the standard noise values. Now go to transform compute variables. So we are in species, right? So I named the first one trust. And there's, you cannot put any space. So I just write underline x underline um, let's say job relevance I just, just write job rel and then what are the two variables now we use the standardized values so trust I move it to the right box multiply by job relevance here okay done so hit ok and now next one so I again compute variables here I want to compute the interaction of job relevance and output quality output quality I name it out qual and here is trust because I have two interactions right trust and output quality so I use the standardized values and okay now if you go back to your data file you see that there are two new columns and these are the interactions we computed the interactions using the standardized, standardized values of the variables so first standardized then compute the interaction effects now save if you don't save it won't be loaded there make sure you save at this stay in this stage save now go back to your model and here I load the, I need to load the data file so file traction so I cut it and okay now list the variables now you see the interactions are there now trust and okay these two I drag and drop drag and drop for the rest of the variables you can use the standardized or not the results should be very similar so I now connect these as new exogenous variables and because all are exogenous so what I do is I covariate them okay uh, oops Okay, let's just keep it as it is as it is now I put it here if you want to make it beautiful maybe plug in the resize observed variables and then I can apply the X coordinate to all well actually here the focus is not just to make it to not make it yeah okay anyway so this the model is ready and we have the interaction effects the two and the two independent variables and the moderator now we want to so I save the model as interaction save now I want to yeah go to the answers properties and here we don't have any indirect effects so it's okay I just leave it there and uh, if you want to run bootstrapping why not run bootstrapping but here let's just simply run the model so we have three I mean we have standardized estimates we need it usually and squared multiple correlations we are interested in usually so anyway we just run the model to see the results okay I got the red arrow button this means the results are there estimates okay now you see the estimate okay so the first thing we check is the interaction effect term so the interaction effect here is not significant and here it is almost significant right it's exactly 0 0.05 so what I do is I remove the non-significant interaction right this is what I do always so you can remove the um, non-significant interaction so what I do I go back to the model remove the non-significant which one was the yeah, the one job relevance and trust so I remove job relevance and trust now I run the model again and okay now it's even more significant the p-value is less so trust to intention significant output quality to intention positive and significant job relevance is significant predictor and trust and output quality significant and I remove the non-significant interactions for interactions you can remove the non-significant ones but start from the uh, weakest one um, and do it one by one so 
um, so this means the hypothesis is supported but usually we don't stop here we also draw a diagram so in the file that I have uploaded and you can find in the files I've shared with you there is one file excel file is interaction diagram I borrowed this from James Eskin so so I wanted to make one myself but it was at the end it was very similar to this so let's use this one and here is very straightforward so what do you do um, we have two interactions let's but one of them was significant so I just used that one so the one for trust and output quality is significant so what I do, I enter the values here. So what is the name of the independent variable? The independent variable name is output quality. So I just write here output quality. I write output quality. The moderator was trust and the dependent variable was intention. So I just write the name of the variables here. So all have been updated now in the table, in the figure. And then values, on standardized values. What is the unstandardized path coefficient or regression coefficient for the independent variable? Here, regression weights, unstandardized for this one is 0.096. So I write here 0 .0, I key in 0 0.096. Then the moderator, the moderator is here, trust and output quality is 0 0.056. And the interaction term, the interaction, oh, sorry. 0.056 is here, the interaction, and the moderator is uh, trust, trust to intention is 1.9, 0.198, yeah. So independent variable, independent output quality, 96, 0.96, moderator is trust, 1.98, and interaction, yeah, 0.056. Now, um, so this is the results. So now you can see, that the slopes are different right and we already knew that um, this, they are significantly different the results is the relationship between output quality and intention is significantly different for low and high level of trust and here uh, based on what you can see let me just make it a bit yeah so based on what you can see uh, so the yeah the relationship for between output quality and intention is stronger when there is higher trust means higher means trust strengthened uh, strengthened the relationship between output quality and intention right so yeah here yeah. trust strengthened the positive relationship between output quality and intention so to see this one it doesn't matter it's just a matter of showing I mean presenting and here I can show you that when the moderator is stronger sorry not the moderator, I mean the interaction. You see, when the interaction, I just change it from 0 0.05 to 0 0.2. Now, you see, the, the, they are totally different. I mean, one of them is increasing, the other one is reducing. Or, um, so what I'm saying is, here, clearly you can see the effect. Clearly you can see the effect. For example, now it's 0 0.4, it's very strong. Right? I mean, it's strong, very strong. It's stronger than what I showed because the initially was 0 0.056. And anyway, uh, or here I can just change it to minus. So if the interaction coefficient is minus 0 0.2, then you see it totally changed. Now for, uh, as you can see, the trust, variable trust, trust dampens the positive relationship between output quality and intention. It means higher trust means uh, the relationship between you know, output quality and intention will be weaker. So uh, this is how we show. So you just copy paste this, put uh, insert it in your paper or your report.